right, it's time for The Five today. On the show, we're talking about online forex trade. And so these are some five things we believe you need to know about the trade. Forex trading is, what is it? Well, it is the buying and selling of currency at the international market. So here's one: how one makes profit, similar to other businesses, by buying the currency at a lower price and then selling it at a higher price. It is therefore dependent on the ever-changing exchange rate. The trade has opened up to individual retailers and has picked up in Kenya significantly since 2017. Following CMA regulation, and Kenya is now the third largest forex trading market in Africa after South Africa and Nigeria in terms of number of traders and trading volume. The CDSC estimates that the net asset base of online forex brokers is over 300 million shillings. Now, of the 1.3 million forex traders on the whole continent. Kenya accounts for about 70,000 of them. Now, of course, the next question is who regulates them? Well, the Capital Markets Authority has been regulating online forex trade for about four years now. The CMA passed its regulations on the 25th of August 2017 to safeguard the traders in Kenya. Ensure the broker you choose is licensed by the CMA. Why? It's helpful. In case of any complaints or fraudulent practices, now, there are about four brokers, I think five actually, regulated in Kenya at the moment. Among them, companies like Pepperstone Markets, Scope Markets and EGM Securities Trading as FX Festa. We have two of those here on the show this afternoon. So, how do you get started? Well, here's a list of what you need to do. First is obviously to select a broker and make sure it's one who's regulated by the CMA. Also, consider other factors such as their cost. Remember, they each charge you a cost for the service that they provide. It's called a spread and this depends on the type of the account that you have with them and the different instruments that they will use. You also want to consider the minimum deposit they require, the type of accounts they offer and the tools that they use for trading. So once you've selected your broker, you then open an account with them, you make your deposit and then you download the trading platform and you get started. Now, I know it sounds easy, but we'll talk about it a little more. Forex trading, as you know, here's another thing about managing your risk. It is a risky venture, just like any other business. There are many factors that determine the exchange rate of currencies, so you need to be aware of brokers who offer very handsome guaranteed returns. The general rule of thumb is don't invest more money than you are prepared to lose. Now remember also that currency exchange rates are highly volatile and unpredictable. Now, some experts have said that up to 60% of traders lose more money than they gain. Now, Whilst the online forex traders and the trading seems lucrative, especially now during the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm sure you've seen the ads popping up just about anywhere online. There is still a lot to learn about how it actually works. As we've already said, deal with a licensed regulated broker, beware of the risks, but don't let that discourage you. You know what they say, the higher the risks, the higher the return. But it also needs to be an educated risk. That means you have to understand the market. So don't only depend on your broker's advice. The Forex market is open 24 hours a day, so you can also monitor the exchange rates for yourself. Now we're told that one of the ways to start learning is by operating a demo account before you begin trading with actual money. So the basics of everything that we're talking about today with online Forex trading is this. Do your homework. That's the five.